Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpios, I'm just going to speak with Spirit and get into your reading. Spirit, please let, your re let this reading be blessed with clarity, insight, and guidance from you. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Higher Selves. And we just trust you to give us exactly what we need in this reading. Sorry, y'all. You might hear my cousin in the background. He's home off work and he's playing his video games and he plays online. So <laughs> you might hear him talking to friends. That was plus. So we're going to take it. Thank you, Spirit. Please bless the cutting of these cards as well. I'm a deal. Again, this is for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Bottom of the deck, Scorpios. We have Seven of Pentacles. So you've been giving a lot, lot, lot to a situation, putting in that work, showing yourself your capabilities, and building up that coin. But a lot of times, and this is my not see your worth card, you're doing a lot, you're seeing yourself improve in a lot of ways, but you don't feel externally you're getting back what you've been putting in. You know, you might feel that way internally, but not externally. So this is just about showing you you are worthy in a situation. Don't give up. Get ready to go to the eight of coins where you're working and enjoying work and enjoying the things you're doing because you are right where you need to be right here. A lot of times we want to be ahead of where we are or, you know, further up the ladder or whatever it may be. But just know that you will get to where you're going. Next card shows at the bottom of the deck, you're leaving. So for whatever reason that you're not seeing your worth in the situation, it has you getting ready to leave. You're not happy. And so this is all about emotions. This is all about your will and everything you're doing, you know, putting your energy and time into you're missing something. So you're going to go after that. Okay. So that's blessed. And then another bottom of the deck card, I want to pull them in succession because they're so relevant, the death card. So this just shows like, yeah, it is time for an ending. So you can start a new beginning. It's showing it right here. You're leaving because something's missing. And so that's the death of the end of a cycle. And so is this. You're moving on to something better for yourself and you're going to find what's missing in your life. All right, so let's start this off for you, Scorpio. <laughs> Holy smokes, the Empress. So if this is where you're leaving to go to, <laughs> I say you're doing a great thing for yourself, a good justice <laughs> for yourself. You're missing something. So if you're going after an Empress or you're finding an Empress on this next stage, you can't lose. She's the mother of love, basically. She's the biggest lover in the tarot deck, and you just can't lose with that kind of love. She's tied to Venus, the planet of love, and she's all about abundance. This is the most abundant card you can get besides the sun, and this is just like, man, <laughs> when a guy say they want a, a real woman, they're talking about the empress. This is who you're talking about if you want a real woman, and she's like, truly loving from inside out and she will treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated you can't lose with this one this could also be about fertility and becoming pregnant so <laughs> just be mindful of that but all in all what a beautiful card to get this is major arcana and that is the empress go right ahead scorpios next card the Page of Cups. So this could be young ones around you. You could be spending time with young ones as the Empress. And you could be a grandmother or a mother just spending time with your kids, your grandkids. But this could also be an innocent offer of love. We'll get more clarity as we go because something's missing in your life. But you could be spending time with kids in this next two weeks here. Coming up, two to three weeks. Next card. Yeah. End of a cycle for real. So this is showing us the end, the death of this. And so you might have not been seeing your worth in the situation, feeling betrayed and backstabbed. Bottom of the deck now is the eight. So you're going from the eight to the 10 and back to the future. So this is like you're not seeing something just yet. You don't have the clarity that you're looking for and you feel stuck in the situation. Well, that's because this is ending and you're going to go towards something new, but it might not be time to leave yet or you're waiting on divine timing or divine 
like discernment or intuition in a situation. And I always say, you see the moon in this eight of cups, it's like this moon will illuminate your path and you will become clear eventually. So don't worry about the eight. I always say this, you won't remain stuck forever, but this is just showing it's the end of this cycle. So this is why you're leaving and getting out of Dodge to go towards what's missing. And this shows you it's definitely something missing, feeling betrayed by people, situations, or even life. But all in all, this is over and you're moving on. Next card is, oh, I turned these upside down, is the Five of Cups. So yeah, you're not seeing your words. You're giving everything you got to a situation. You could be mourning the loss of something or someone. And like I say, this is my turn around. Remember, you got two cups to stand in, two cups to stand in. You spilled out these three cu cups of liquid or whatever is in those cups, and you can't put that back in no matter what you do. could be some kind of horrible loss where we lose family members or lovers, and that kind of thing, or it could be breakups, but you weren't seeing your worth in that, and it's just showing, you know, sometimes we reminisce and go back and think about the past and what could have been, but this is over, and you weren't seeing what you deserve, so... Yeah, this is done, and that's showing it with the death card. So you're moving on to more abundance and blessings for yourself. It just shows it right here with this empress, whether you're the empress or you're going to spend time with the empress or meet an empress. Bottom of the deck now, we got the master magician. So <laughs> this is all about that. You could be manifesting an empress to help you or to fall in love with you. Who knows what this is, but this is a divine connection of using your magic and your will to bring forth a beautiful, beautiful time for yourself in this next cycle. You can manifest a lot with this master magician, and it could have something to do with this empress. So that's beautiful. Go right ahead, Scorpios. Holy smoke. So this is what you're manifesting. <laughs> You're manifesting on your own, but then you also have spirit manifesting for you. So this is divine karma. This is the will of fortune. And that could be what this empress is doing here. Maybe you are manifesting that empress and you're going to be an emperor or you're already an emperor and you're getting a new emperor, uh, empress. But you could be meeting for the first time or going to the next stage in your life. But all in all, look at the power of these major arcana cards. You are super blessed right now. And just know it. Keep your head up, uh, Scorpios, because <laughs> you have the power. You got the power. And <laughs> this is lovely. So goodness and greatness is on your side. All right, next card. Queen of Pentacles. So either you're meeting the Queen of Pentacles or you're the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. That could be. But this could be someone helping you go to the next stage in your life, in your money. Or it could be you got some kind of financial deal going on. Could be with this Empress. But these are two blessed, beautiful queens. <laughs> this is a queen, but she's the highest of the highest of queens. She's the Empress. And she usually embodies all of the queens. So that could be one of her attributes that's coming out in this reading. But all in all, a blessed, beautiful time about to be had. Karma on your side and you're super magical, the master magician. All right, Scorpios, and you're super strong. So this is the strength card, and that takes everything to go through loss and sadness, depression, not seeing your worth, and feeling betrayed by people in life and situation so you have to be super strong to get through the toughest times and you see it was a gray day and now with that black on it was super sad but now you're moving on to strength and this is abundance of strength this takes this is what it takes to pull the strength card internal strength from within to get through the hardest things the toughest things and this is why this card is coming out for you is because you earned it. And this is all about showing yourself and spirit showing you, you are magical and you are super spiritual. So I'm very proud of you, Scorpios. Next card we got. Wow, beautiful. So this is all about uh, past life connections. So it could be friends that are meeting up 
that you haven't seen in a while, and that could have something to do with the Queen of Pentacles and this Empress. And keep in mind, the genders don't matter. It could just be the energy of the card that one of you possess, male, female, doesn't matter. But all in all, this is someone you either knew from back in the day, in the past, in this life, and you guys are going to reunite and spend time together and chop it up and have a ball. Or it could be a past life lover. And like I said, gender doesn't matter with these cards. So all in all, you're about to meet someone or you're going to reignite uh, an old school flame or an old school relationship with a friend. So it's blessed in the be beautiful time right now. Bottom of the deck card now is the five of pentacles. So you might have been going through a tough time in a relationship, in a situation, and, you know, it's just, or you might be there now juggling and struggling and not seeing sanctuary, but just know with all these other cards, it's definitely the end of this. <laughs> this is over. And that could be the past relationship you were dealing with where you weren't seeing your worth or you broke up or whatever happened and you weren't seeing your worth. So you're moving on to see your worth and it's showing it right here. You're going towards what's missing in your life. All right, Scorpios. Wow, this is what you're going towards. So you're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So this is a blessed, blessed journey for you to go to the next stage in your journey. And this is what it is. It's like you might be going to see a friend and it can make you feel like this for the holidays or Maybe you're going to meet a new lover or you're with your lover and you guys are going to feel like we did it. This is happily ever after kind of energy and it'll last for some time with these kind of cards, the major arcana. So I'm super happy for you. This is a magical time. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, it shows two paths, two choices, two situations you got to choose from. But it looks like you will become illuminated with all this beautiful, bright energy around you. You might be stuck now, but the moon... That's intuition and discernment. And so you got that in this card too. The moon will illuminate you and you will know what to choose. Okay. Next card, Scorpios. Four Pentacles. So you might not have it to give for quite some time. Maybe this sitch, all these situations, you know, left you feeling not seeing your words. So you weren't willing to give up your time and your energy with anyone or you know, you just felt like, nah, I'm done. Like, I need to take a time out or whatever. And you've been hurting, and it shows it here, too, four to the five, and it left you in the five of cups. But all these fives mean change. So that's what's about to happen, a huge change for you, okay? And it should be a blessed, beautiful change. Yep, your ships are coming in. So this is the five, no, the three of wands. So this is all about putting in the divine wish or order out. Maybe you put a quarter or a dime or a penny in a fountain some time ago. Well, that wish is coming in for you. And this is a blessed, abundant time with all these yellow cards. So spirit sees everything we do and go through. And so this is about to be a really good time for you. Your ships are coming in. And just get ready. You have to be very strong, but you're making it to the other side. This is a whole new beginning for you. And this is blessings on top of blessings. Next card, new foundation. So, yep, this is <laughs> so storybook. You're starting a new foundation. You had to be very strong to do so. You had to, you know, leave or you're going to be leaving to go after what's missing in your life. You might feel stuck now. You know, choosing between two paths, but you will figure it out. There could be young ones around you or it could be flirting, meeting someone or just, you know, an innocent kind of love. It shows, you know, you're meeting someone of the past. It could be a friend or it could be a past life lover or, you know, you could be hanging out with the empress or the queen or it could be reversed and, you know, it could be male but all in all, this is a blessed, abundant time. It shows you're very magical. It shows <laughs> this is over. So this is the end of all that pain and struggle to go to the will of fortune. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, happily ever after type of energy. Like we did it. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? <laughs> the the sunshine divine one of the best cards in the deck i feel like it is the best card in the deck because it's just showing you how abundant you are this is freedom this is joy this is like 
supreme happiness. And then you also have, oh, Lee Smokes, the ace of magic. So not only do you got the master magician of magic, you got the ace of magic. So yeah, this is definitely a new beginning, What you want to see this ace on your new journey. And then you got the world card. So you got it all. <laughs> the world, the sun, ace of magic, ten of cups. This is about to be a blessed, beautiful, abundant time for you. So I'm so happy for you, Scorpios. Get ready for a blessed new cycle and season. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.